pack of the naturopath we're talking about vitamin c again i can't stop talking about vitamin c right but it does have an effect on inflammation in the body so if we look at inflammation inflammation basically inside your body is a response to any type of an injury or insult or something that happens to your body inflammation can happen for many different reasons it can happen as a result of an accident or a trauma it can happen as a result of sometimes the bmi blowing right up people being way too big and not eating appropriately it can be there become a genetic components behind it but inflammation involves a cascade of events that occur in the body vasodilation so basically blood vessels opening up parts of the body being flooded by certain types of chemicals that have many different effects and of course we give a lot of these chemicals all weird names you know um, high sensitive high sensitivity c-reactive protein we've got interleukins you know it's just all too much for so many people so i like to keep it nice and easy on this channel and not make people all scratch their heads constantly and have to look at dictionaries and things so but what i do know about inflammation <clears throat> and vitamin c the research certainly points out that people who've got adequate levels of vitamin c in their body meaning their diet's high in vitamin c and many also wish to supplement with often 500 milligrams or a thousand even more milligrams of vitamin c those people tend to certainly have a show better profiles inflammatory profiles in people who don't do that at all if you have a go and have a bit of a google search you'll find that the jury is still out on certain types of studies but many experts absolutely agree that when a person has for example let's look at a, a study for example involving about 14,000 men this is in the united states several years ago now these guys were given 1000 milligrams of vitamin c to take for an eight week period they found a 16.7 percent reduction in c-reactive protein in those guys so meaning a lower risk of a heart attack or heart disease than the guys who weren't taking that 1000 milligrams per day other studies have likewise found uh, reductions in C-reactive protein. So you've got high sensitivity CRP and then you've got CRP. The HSCRP is more linked with heart attack. So, because it's more of a, a, an acute marker for that. But we've got other inflammatory markers like interleukins, particularly interleukin-6 is a very important one. We've also seen reductions in that marker with vitamin C. So there's no doubt about it. People who have adequate levels of vitamin C in their diet and who people have supra levels like who actually uh, you know supplement on top of that have got lower inflammatory markers than people who don't and if we can control inflammation in the body if we can you know if we can sort of you know keep it inside con confine it we can certainly improve somebody's health and also help to reduce the risks of a lot of chronic diseases like diabetes and cancers and heart disease and that's what it's all about preventing disease <clears throat> so the question is does vitamin c help to reduce inflammation and the answer is yes because the research does prove it thanks for tuning in